Hey everyone, this is Red Ranger. Hope you're doing good. Uh, very excited today because I'm about to leave for Costa Rica. So we're going uh, in Costa Rica for 10 days. I think it'll be a beautiful, beautiful experience. And as you know me, I am bringing a lot of gear. So today's special vlog is what's in my bag for the Costa Rica experience. So first of all, the bag I'm using is the Peak Design uh, Everyday Backpack. You can see a review of that right here. And I'm so impressed by the number of things that can fit in this bag. I wanna mention that I am not paid by Peak Design, nor did Peak Design send this to me for free. I actually paid for it and uh, I'm amazed. I'm amazed by the amount of gear that can fit in there and by the uh, versatility of this bag. So very excited about this bag. And let's start with the outside of the bag when I'm bringing, I wanted to find a very uh, cool solution when it comes to tripods. In the past, I've brought my big tripod, you know, it was a Manfrotto, very heavy, and ended up not really using it because it was cumbersome to uh, have it around. So, me photo, look at how it fits on the exterior of the bag. Latch system here on the 20 liter everyday backpack, so very easily I can attach it. It fits in the little pocket, exterior pocket. I can just go like this and I can remove the tripod. So this is the Mi Photo tripod. There's a, a bunch of colors out there. I decided to go with one that's a little bit more sober, uh, really light and really small. So that's the first thing that you will find on the exterior of my bag. And of, co of course the old and trusty Joby Gorillapod. This will come handy for vlogging situation. You're gonna see a couple of my vlogging cameras in there, but I'm planning on using that to attach it to trees and uh, to wherever I want to do that. So these are the tripods. Now if we look at the laptop compartment on the 20 liter Peak Design Everyday Backpack, well, it can fit easily my 15 inch MacBook Pro. I was debating, am I bringing the 13 inch uh, MacBook Air, am I bringing the 15 inch MacBook Pro, but I'm planning on doing a lot of video, maybe try some 4K shots, so you know, it might come handy to have the more powerful, powerful computer. So bringing the MacBook Pro for sure. And then if we go into the top compartment of the Peak Design, this is what I'm bringing to Costa Rica. First off, the vlogging camera. I always have to be accessible, so I'm gonna leave it at the top of the bag. And this is the gold, again, the good old trusty G7X from Canon. I love this little camera. I love the flippy screen that you actually, you can actually see the frame. And I added a little dead cat on it. It's easily removable, it's Velcro. And you can just put it here. And when it's windy or when there's you know a lot of wind hitting your microphone, it's gonna help with the sound because as you know, the G7X doesn't have a input when it comes to audio. So I won't be able to use my Rode uh, microphone, but uh, I will have a better sound quality with this, or at least you guys will be able to tell me. So this will be my daily vlogging camera. This will be to remove sand and dust from uh, my cameras. Beats, Bluetooth headphones. I'm gonna be using that on the phone a lot and I'm gonna be using that also to edit my videos. Still in the, in the uh, first compartment. What do we have here? We have my other vlogging camera and this is the GoPro Hero Session 5. Just got this. Planning on using it when I go into the uh, beach or into the, actually the sea. Uh, and uh, I added a little kit here so I can find my camera when it's in the water so it doesn't drown also. So you have the little um, uh, plastic thing here, but also the uh, uh, spongy, I don't know how to, how to describe that, but it's, it actually helps the camera float and, and you can locate it easily while you are in the water. Um, if you wanna know what brand is this, this is the Cam Kicks, and it was pretty well priced on Amazon, so I'll put the link below if you guys are interested in this product. Uh, and again, I'm planning on using that when I'm going to the beach. What else? Very important for me. These are two little moleskin so I can take notes of the places that I went. If I have any cool shots in my head that I wanna take on the next day, I'm gonna put that in here and bring it everywhere I go. So these are two little moleskins. This is a cable for the GoPro. 
And what do we have here? A bunch of batteries. I mean, as you know, mirrorless cameras, GoPros, actually that GoPro, you can't change the battery, but G7X, you need a ton of batteries. So these will be the batteries that I'll be bringing. They're mostly for the uh, Fujifilm camera that I'm about to show you. A little pouch for that battery pack. And on to, well, you know, passports, just small stuff that you might need when you travel. <laughs> And uh, let's go into the, we're still in the top compartment, by the way. Again, I'm amazed by the space layout in this bag. Um, the first lens that I'll be bringing to Costa Rica, and you'll understand why, is the 10 to 24. So this is the wide angle lens from Fujifilm, Fujinon. And this is an F4 uh, lens uh, all the way through, so I can get that 10 uh, millimeters, which is very, very wide to 24 and since I'm, I'm gonna be shooting that uh, in good condition in terms of light uh, the uh, filters I'm gonna be putting on will come handy because I'm, I'm gonna be using some ND filters on it so pretty pretty cool lens I love this lens so bringing it for sure for some landscape landscape photography and then what do we have here uh, this will be my workhorse actually this will be the lens that will be always on or most of the time on the camera when it's in my bag. And this is the 16 to 55 uh, Fujinon 2.8. So again, gives me the ability to have low light situation at 2.8, nice bokeh, uh, and to have, you know, a nice range. It's the equivalent, equivalent of a 24 to 70 on a full frame body. So again, very interesting lens while traveling. A bit heavy though. Uh, my girlfriend has the 18 to 55 F four I think and um, f2.8 to four and I might actually borrow that uh, lens if I want to do some uh, some videos I'm putting the lenses in uh, some pouches just, just to protect them and this is the top compartment that now it's empty and let's open the side compartments to see what else do we have in this bag like that so first off there's another pouch in the side compartment. This is where I'll be bringing all my SD cards. Uh, gotta have some, some backups, of course, and it's in a nice little Pelican type case, so it doesn't get, you know, into water or sand or dust or anything like that. Battery pack, gotta have that. This is the Aki uh, 20,000 milliamperes, and this will give me uh, a lot of extra battery for my phone, for my cameras. I also have two um, USB here that I can charge at the same time and also a micro USB. So very handy when you travel. So that's the side pouch. And what do we have here? Oh, that's, so isn't, isn't it amazing that I can bring something like a drone and I'm using an, a, a Fuji pouch to bring it. This is the DJI Mavic Pro and it's in the bag. Uh, I'm gonna remove that, I broke that. I don't, I, I'm, I actually I haven't flown the drone yet and I managed to break the little protection here, but at least it's not the drone. So anyways, I'll try to fix that before I leave. But this is my, this is my DJI Mavic Pro and it fits within this bag. Look at that, it's so small. So I'm, I can't wait to see these. Uh, beaches where I'll be using the drone and in the rainforest and all this great stuff so definitely planning on using the DJI Mavic Pro a lot and then you've got the Fujifilm uh, with the long lens attached to it so this is the 50 to 140 there's gonna be a lot of you know animals and uh, in, in, in the jungle and the forest so planning on using that long lens and it fits very well when I pack my bag to have it attach when uh, I'm, again, doing my travels. So zipping in it here like that, let's go on the other side of the bag. And let's see what's in the little pouch here. Filters, so these are Tiffin filters, so I can uh, use uh, neutral density filters and um, bring the exposure down so I can do some, you know, long exposures. And mouse, this is just an Apple mouse to be able to do my edits quickly. And just a pen that also works on the phone or the iPad. So this is everything that fits in the everyday backpack, 20 liters. That's pretty cool. Another little moleskin here. That's pretty cool if you consider the size of it. And as I mentioned in my other video, if you wanna see the unboxing in the bag, just click here. This is a bag that really fits uh, well on your back. Uh, it also has this 
thing here where you can put your um, luggage handle and it'll act as a holder and you know have your bag with you at all time so very excited about this bag very excited about the gear i'm bringing again i'm bringing less stuff that i usually bring uh, i used to bring all my gear and now this is my way of trying to focus on the gear i have and try to use it every single day so you'll see a lot of drone shots coming up shortly you're gonna see me vlogging regularly i'm gonna try to use the uh wi-fi at the hotel let's see how that goes and of course you're gonna see a lot of photography if you are interested in following my costa rica adventure please subscribe to that channel because you'll be able to see when the videos are up give this video a like if you want to see any review of this gear i mean this is new this is also new to me and i'm about to uh, use them a lot for the next couple days i'm fred ranger be happy enjoy life and Enjoy your gear. Cheers.